How's it going, people? Well, haven't done much lately with this book. I haven't even had much beer lately, which is, um, looks like another Japanese beer. It's 100% malt. Brewed for good times. I probably shouldn't be uh, reading this book with it then. <laughs> oh well, we'll try to have a good time. Yeah, I just looked ahead at this uh, section, and um, <clears throat> it's thirsty. Sixty-three of the DNC, and look how big that masthead is. I mean, it's like that's all masthead there. All right, it's like a little mini chapter. Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, at Kirtland, Ohio, August 1831. Ooh, that's nice. Prefacing his record of this revelation, the prophet wrote, in these infant days of the church, as in inchoate, there was a great anxiety to obtain the word of the Lord upon every subject that in any way concerned our salvation. Now that narrows the field. Uh, and, as the land of Zion was now the most important temporal object in view, I inquired of the Lord for further information upon the gathering of the saints and the purchase of the land. Why didn't God just give it to you? He owns the planet, doesn't he? And other matters. See History of the Church, Volume 1, page 207. Well, I've been looking for the History of Church in my local Mormon thrift store. And this is about all I've found so far is uh, our heritage. And it's a history, but it's modern and bit bodlerized. And then, of course, I found a book by Briggy. <laughs> These are all free as you walk out the door. Do they know who they're giving these books to? Me. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> I'm still going to find History of the Church and read it. Uh, solemn warning to the wicked. Okay, I'll pay attention to that. Apparently I'm wicked. <sighs> Divine manifestations and signs wrought by evil powers. Well, that's fucked up. So, uh, you can't even count on a sign now. Well, it explains Fatimer. Oh, anyway. Yeah, evil powers are doing heavenly divine signs. That's scary. Sin of adultery especially condemned. Saints commanded to gather to Zion as they are able, but not with undue haste lest confusion result. Lands to be secured by purchase and not by seizure. 
How would they be seizing people's lands, I wonder? Well, they're not going to do it, so it doesn't matter. They're going to buy it. Oh, completely illegal. Blessed are they who die in the Lord. Condition of those who shall die during the millennium. Which one are you talking about? Is that the next one, maybe? Because we just had one. <laughs> We're like 12 years into one. <clears throat> Hung up on the millennium. They just don't know which one. Sidney Ridgeton rebuked for pride. When will he learn? To have a broken heart and a contrite spirit. And maybe drag your belly and tuck your tail between your legs while you're at it. Submissiveness is what it's all about. And obedience. Those who use the name of the Lord without authority declared to be under con condemnation. Okay. One. Hearken, O oh, ye people, and open your hearts, and give ear from afar, and listen while you're giving ear. Um, you that call yourselves the people of the Lord, and hear the word of the Lord, and his will concerning you. Yea, verily, I say, hear the word of him whose anger is kindled against the wicked and rebellious, the non-submissive. Three, who willeth to take even them whom he will take. And preserveth in life them whom he will preserve. So, what's the point of praying? <laughs> it's all his will. And that's been preordained, I believe. It's rather confusing, isn't it? Alright. Four. Who buildeth up at his own will and pleasure so it's okay for him to get some. Uh, and destroyeth when he pleases. And is able to cast the soul down to hell. That's God. <laughs> yeah. Five. Behold, I, the Lord, utter my voice, and it shall be obeyed. Six, wherefore, verily I say, let the wicked take heed. <coughs> Damn. Yeah, I didn't take heed soon enough. <sighs> Too busy giving ear. All right. And let the rebellious fear and tremble. And let the unbelieving hold their lips. That's what you want. Shut up so we can say whatever we want, whenever we want, and you're quiet because you don't agree with us. We don't care what you think. Just shut up! Don't talk about it. You might make more people like you. Yeah. Tough. <sighs> Yeah, the let the unbelieving hold their lips. I got something you can hold. <laughs> For the day of wrath shall come upon them as a whirlwind, which is a natural phenomenon, by the way. And all flesh shall know that I am God. 
They never mention anything that can't be found here on Earth. Because ah, we can't imagine it. <laughs> Only, you know, you could combine elements of things on Earth and turn it into a chimera, but you can't come up with something completely unprecedented. Ah, Robert Ingersoll pointed that out. It's not my, it's, you know, it's not my observation, but it's true. Seven, and he that seeketh signs shall see signs, but not unto salvation. Yeah, because a devil could be doing it. I read the math, Ted. <laughs> uh, eight, verily, I say unto you, there are those among you who seek signs. And there have been such from the beginning, so you ought to be used to it by now. Nine. But, behold, faith cometh not by signs, but by gullibility <laughs> and tradition and brainwashing. But signs will follow those that believe, or at least when the sleep deprivation finally just feeds back on you, or, or the acid finally starts hitting. <laughs> oh, wait. LDS, not LSD. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Yea, signs come by faith, not by the will of men, nor as they please, but by the will of God. 11. Yea, signs come by faith unto mighty works. For without faith no man pleaseth God. Maybe he doesn't please me. I hadn't thought of that, huh? Yeah. I mean, he'd first of all have to start existing. <laughs> that would be cool. Then we can talk. And with whom God is angry, he is not well pleased. Wherefore, unto such he showeth no signs, only in wrath, unto their condemnation. So if you got a sign, it's too late. Wherefore, I, the Lord, am not pleased with those among you who have sought after signs. Yeah, it's like we're putting them to work or something. <coughs> Whew. I'll take that for a sign. Twelve. Wherefore, I, the Lord, am not pleased with those among you who have sought after signs and wonders for faith. Yeah, you'll believe when you're convinced, right? That's wrong! You gotta do it before you're convinced. Believe before you even believe. Then you believe. Yeah. Thirteen. Nevertheless, I give commandments, and many have turned away from my commandments and have not kept them. That could happen. <laughs> Fourteen. Well, he's walked away from his covenant and not kept it. He keeps reminding us that he's going to do it again someday. A new one, though. That old one just too much of a bother. All right. Fourteen. There are, uh, there were among you adulterers and adulteresses. Well, good, a little variety there. Some of whom have turned away from you. And others remain with you that hereafter 
shall be revealed. 15. Let such beware and repent speedily. Lest judgment shall uh, come upon them as a snare. So there. And their folly shall be made manifest. And their works shall follow them in the eyes of the people. Why did you care what they think? That would be worldly of you and prideful. 16. And verily I say unto you, as I have said before, yeah, a lot of that in this book and others of yours, uh, it's called repetition. He that looketh on a woman to lust after her, or if any shall commit adultery in their hearts. He's just clarifying there. But it's got to be a woman, so some people are off the hook, I guess. All right. They shall not have the spirit. Oh, man. Damn you, Eve. <laughs> Just kidding. But shall deny their faith and shall fear. That's those adulterers and adulteresses. Seventeen. Uh, wherefore I, the Lord, have said that the fearful and the unbelieving and all liars and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie, different than a liar, I guess, and the whoremonger and the sorcerer, don't forget him, shall have their part in that lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You get two. You didn't know that, huh? Yeah, that's nice. <coughs> uh, man. A little tipsy. I haven't eaten anything since lunch, and it's now 7 o'clock. 18 and then I'll break it off here and continue this this is a this is a bit of a lengthy verse here uh, section 18 verily I say that they shall not have part in the first resurrection first as in there might be more what about the third one you didn't say we can't have a third one. If there's a third one, they didn't say we're not a part of it. Matter of fact, some people say we are. It just ain't going to be good. Yeah, third time won't be a charm. Anyway, that's first resurrection and all that. Let's see. Uh, 19. And now behold, I, the Lord, say unto you that ye are not justified because these things are among you. It's your fault. Anyway, we'll pick this up on verse 20 so I can pour another beer. Let me know if you learned something. Because I wasn't really paying attention. I don't really think there was much there. Was there? Peace the fuck out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And I should eat before a couple hours before doing these videos, I'll bet. That way they won't be calling me Toucan Sam. <laughs>